signatures, and we got some really conscientious people hired, and they went out and finished the job. So this will appear yep. on the South Dakota ballot. It's the first time it's actually gone to a vote of the people whether they want the jury to know the truth. Yeah. Um, but it left me <laughs> badly in debt, and I, but I think I'll come out on it. You know, yeah. we're, we're doing some fundraising to, to, to bail me out, but it was worth it. Yeah, well, yeah, you know, I need to, I had uh, some ladies come to, actually made some appointments with me the other day, and I really appreciated that because if I don't have to float it, I need to do what I'm doing, and you, you just can't do it, you know, you just yeah, can't do it, and the, so I, well, we so appreciate the people that, you know, they work together and make things possible I do for too, us, yeah. and I, I can't tell you how much appreciated mm -hmm. because as a good friend of mine, his name is Al Adisk, and he lives in Dallas, but he has a way with words, mm -hmm. and he leads an organization of his own uh, called Citizens for Legal Reform, and they're trying to reform the legal system too in their own way. But his best expression is, the reason you don't get justice is there's no money in it. That's right. All yeah. the money is in injustice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, really, really true. Isn't that the truth? And that's what's going on in our legislatures, and mm -hmm. so you have to fight the injustice yeah. of like like the committees that we're talking about, trying to get legislation passed through these committees. What they're doing is unjust. They know it, and they don't care, because all the money's on their side. Yeah. So I'm delighted, as I say, it was worth it, for a few thousand more dollars to get this thing to, on to the South to, Dakota yeah. ballot. It was a bargain, compared to anything else we've ever tried. Um, I always tell the friends, you know, each person is equal in the universe, and we all... Um, one person is as important as the next one. And I think that applies here too. Don't ever think that you don't make a difference. If you don't know, ask somebody. And, um, and just like you say, look at the law, look at the law, look at the, uh, the drug laws that they have. I saw a bracelet here not too long ago. I think I mentioned it before, it said P-O-W dash D. And I said, what kind of bracelet is that? And they said, it's a prisoner of war bracelet. And I said, well, What's the D stand for? Deutschland? And they said, no, drugs. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, why would you wear something like that? And then, of course, you know, doing some of the shows that on, on the prison industries that we have done, I can't really see that because we are really at war with ourselves, you know, as, as a right. whole, as, as an entity. And um, people should never think that their opinion doesn't count because it's going to be important to somebody. You have to have a way to express it. Yeah. And that's what we're trying to provide. We're trying to get good people on juries, getting them, getting full information mm -hmm. to them so that those opinions can be expressed. Any regrets? Oh, no. The only regrets I have are that we haven't been able to move as fast as that, we want to because there's yeah. so many obstacles. Yeah. Again, there's no money in justice. All the money's on the yeah. other side. We face that obstacle every day. Yeah. Uh, right now, we're wondering what tricks are they going to play on us in South Dakota when this thing comes up to a vote, because they will. You know, here in Washington State, uh, uh, we now pay thirty dollars for license plates. You know, because of an initiative. Because of an initiative, and, uh, I, and it's a very powerful tool. It is, but you know, now it's back in the courts, and now it's unconstitutional. So sometimes it appears like the, nobody gives a hoop what you really think, does it? Is well, that discouraging to you? Well, yes and no. We chose mm -hmm. South Dakota as the best place to do this for a couple of reasons. First of all, it's the first state in the United States to adopt the initiative process. Mm -hmm. It put it on its books, I think, in 1890-something. That's the first, and they're very proud of it. And so the rules haven't gotten so butchered as they have in some of the other mm -hmm. states. They have. If you ask the Secretary of State in South Dakota for the rules about, you know, for doing an initiative, you get a couple of sheets of paper folded over. I mean, there's mm -hmm. only a handful of rules. It's very simple. It's direct. And I don't think it's too terribly corrupt. And then you can sort of piggyback it if you, if you can. That's right. <coughs> Once we have done this in one state, <coughs> we're going to continue to try to do it in other states. And, and I think, actually, as, as absurd as it sounds, the next state may be California. Ooh. because we have some legislators mm -hmm. who are interested in introducing it down there as legislation mm -hmm. in a new way, a way that may succeed 
so we're always hopeful, always optimistic. We may be able to move the juggernaut uh, despite the odds. Now, you know, if this sounds like a political show, it really isn't. It's a people show because, because this affects each and every one of yeah, us, there's whether, no whether here. you this like is not it or not. Democrat or Republican or Republican or Libertarian. Nothing. This is a people anything. issue. Yeah. Really is. In fact, uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's funny. Uh, when we have a convention, you should see the different kinds of people that show up. You know, mm -hmm. some have long hair, some have short, some have mm -hmm. uh, NRA caps, and some have, you know, earrings and yeah. beads. And, uh, you know, some smell of marijuana, some smell of alcohol, some don't smell of anything but perfume. Yeah. You know, it's a, it's a very, very interesting group because everybody wants justice. Yeah. There's nobody that doesn't want the justice system to work right. Yeah, actually, it's a show about justice. That's yeah. even better than a people show. Yeah. yeah. Um, what do you see that's ahead for you long term? Okay, in the long term, the most successful thing that we're doing will probably flourish, and that mm -hmm. is these continuing legal education seminars. Mm -hmm. We started this uh, in uh, Dallas, Texas, mm -hmm. just as, as an experiment. Would lawyers come to a session like this and learn how to present material to a jury so that they would do what's called jury nullification, mm -hmm. which is set aside the law to do the right thing? Mm -hmm. How do you get that across in a courtroom without the judge stopping you and saying, Mr. Jones, mm -hmm. uh, we don't allow that kind of or questioning in here, um, you know, or having yeah. the prosecutor object and have the judge shut you up. How do you do it? Well, there's techniques. Mm -hmm. And so we have uh, a, a section of our of our educational program for lawyers that deals with how to get it, how to get the information to the jury underneath the judge's nose and without the prosecutor stopping you. Get a bigger trailer. Get what? Get a bigger trailer. <laughs> well, that might be one solution. <laughs> Uh, we did get a bigger trailer, actually. You did? Okay, well, that's wonderful. Uh, another thing we teach in our seminar for lawyers is how to pick a nullification case. Mm -hmm. So not every case is like that. You know, a lot of cases, it's, it's all, you, all you want out of the thing is did he do it or did he not do it? Everybody agrees on the law. Yeah, well, you know, that's interesting that, that you should say that because uh, in, in some areas I do profiling. Uh, you know, in, in maybe not altogether in the uh -huh. legal area, but, but in some I do. And one of the things I run into, uh, when people ask you to, to pinpoint something down like that, it's not a question whether um, the person, whether you think, no, I'm not saying this right. Going into this, it's not that the person is guilty or innocent. The whole issue is that you get a just jury. So you don't pick your jury to find people innocent, knowing that they're guilty. What that guarantees is that you vote your conscience and you get a just jury. Am I correct here? Yeah. Uh, well, at this stage of the game, we say that Fiji has three, three goals. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them is to tell the, the jury about its power. Mm -hmm. We've been discussing that for the past several minutes here. The other things are, number one, to make sure everybody gets a jury trial who wants one. And the third thing is to get a just jury. A just jury. How do you do that? If you read the Sixth Amendment, the words are clear. It says, basically, that everybody has a right to a trial by an impartial jury. Mm -hmm. Now, this language has been abused to mean something else in the past, oh, I would say 50 years or so. Uh, the word impartial has been applied in, a, in the wrong way. Uh, it is, they're using it to say every juror has mm -hmm. to be an impartial person. Nobody is impartial. Therefore, you can't get that result. You can't get 12 people who are totally neutral. You're lucky to get one because most people are not impartial. But notice that the word is used to modify this, this, the noun jury. An impartial jury is not the same thing as 12 impartial jurors. That's interesting. So what we're saying is... It's all in a word, yeah. We can stop this intensive investigation of the jurors 
because they're not going to be impartial anyway. What we need is a random sample throughout mm -hmm. the community so that you have jurors of all different points of view sitting on the same jury. Some think this way, some think that way, some think in the middle. And they all have to agree on one thing, and that's the verdict. Mm -hmm. That's the impartial jury mm -hmm. that the founders were talking about. These people are all completely different. They're not impartial, but together. Yeah, they are. When they reach common ground, and the ones that are completely different from each other can agree and say, okay, I agree on the verdict with you, that's an impartial jury. So we're calling for the, a strict limitation or elimination of the jury questioning process. And you know what? Our hour is up. I need to congratulate you oh. for being a recipient of our Human of the Year Award. Oh, thank you. It went so fast. How, I had such a good time. How great. Give our love to your wife. You promise to come back. And, I promise. Um, if you have any questions, uh, the feature number and address is listed at the end of the show. Or give me a call. And um, we hope again we have ta you know, shared something with you of interest. So was, I think that's it. And so you have a really nice week, and um, we'll see you again next week.